Hello, St. Paul's. It is Friday, October the 2nd, and this is the ministry and renovation update for the end of the week. This Sunday, we will gather for worship. We will continue in our series on looking at the big picture. This Sunday, we're looking at the question of, is this all there is? And the, the overall theme we're looking at is God's covenants with his people. This is our Sunday where we are doing our reopening. So for those who uh, feel comfortable and desire and are able to, we welcome you to register online, going to St. Paul's webpage, stpaulsottawa.com, and clicking the link there to our Eventbrite page. There you can register for the service. You will need to complete all the questions there in regards to COVID-19 as a pre-screening for Sunday morning. And this is a bit of what you can expect when you arrive here on Sunday. You will park in the back parking lot and then enter through the back door. You can see the tape on the ground marking every two meters so that we can keep proper physical distance. When you enter in, you will be greeted and asked to sanitize your hands at one of the sanitizing stations. And then when it is your turn, you will approach the table in the lobby and there you will be checked, rechecked for your pre-screening for your COVID. And then you will head up the lobby. Everyone will enter into the sanctuary through these doors that are at the front of the church, but at the back of the sanctuary. Here you are asked to wait to be seated and someone from the serve team will make sure you're seated. The offering plate is there for those who want to put their offering in, coming in or going out. And you can see we have the seating taped off where you are not to sit so that we can maintain a good and proper physical distance in the sanctuary. On Sunday, we will celebrate Holy Communion, and we have procured these little self-contained uh, communion cups to be able to do that in a physically distant sort of way. These will be placed in all of the pews well in advance of your arrival on Sunday morning, and so they will be there ready for you when you come in. Now, I'm doing this video because we use these at our last communion service for just those who are in the building, that is the the worship team and the tech team. And there were a couple of people that had a little bit of difficulty with them. So I just wanna run through that fairly quickly with you. You'll see that there is a little tab down at this end and there are two bits to the tab. The top bit is, is clear and you can see that there is a, a clear top tab and that's what you want to get first. And you pull that clear top tab And underneath, you will find that there is a little wafer. Uh, it is not gluten-free. Unfortunately, they, they didn't have that available to us. So if you need gluten-free, please bring your own. And when, when that is eaten, the, the other tab, the larger tab, you take and pull that. But I would encourage you to, to hold it more by the edges, because if you, if, if you hold it in the middle, it may make a mess, because there is a bit of a, a fight in getting that open. So you just slowly and carefully pull that tab back and then you can drink and we can celebrate together. A reminder that we will also continue to do our live stream service. So 10.30 a.m. on Sunday morning as we have been doing throughout this time, that is when the live stream will be. And this is what the building looks like today. We come from the lobby and move in towards and through the new door into the nursery space that has been brightened up greatly. And it has some artwork and fine little touches on the walls now. And in the other room, the washroom is just about complete. We move from the lobby again into the new family space. Obviously, there's still some work to be done here, but I love the color of that wall. Coming into the hall, we can see that much of the work is now done. The floor is in, the ceiling is in, uh, many of the wood features are in, including the new barn doors for the kitchen that close off the, uh, the counter space. It is a real joy to be in this room 
the, the space is just, it's comfortable and it's joyful with the amount of light that comes in. Many thanks to Reg for all the work he has done and to Kathy Patrick for much of the design work as well. The Lord bless you and keep you.